back to my homestead. I am again in my little hut where I work with my herbs and I want to guys show you how I'm going to make propolis tincture. And you're going to say, what is propolis? Well, propolis is a really, really cool substance. Propolis we obtain from beehives. When bees fly around and they harvest different um, tree sap and uh, sap from the buds, the tree buds, like the little buds when they open up in the spring, they collect resin, it goes through their digestive system, which will mix with saliva, some of their uh, digestive compo uh, components, and they will produce this glue. I call it a glue because it's very, very sticky. And bees like to use propolis to sort of seal their hive and make it secure. There, that's one of the reasons why we need to use a little tool to open the cover because they literally glue it shut to their supers. And we need to pry them open because they're using propolis. They're also using propolis to disinfect their cells before they're laying brood in it. And that's how they keep their hives healthy, okay? So there is a lot of literature shows that propolis has been used for centuries, okay, for centuries. Um, propolis is rich in flavonoids, so it has a lot of medicinal um, properties. It can be used for topical reasons. It's used in creams, in shampoos, in toothpaste, in nasal sprays, in oral sprays but also it can be used internally. And I know that uh, the best way to bring it internally is to make a tincture out of it. So today I'm gonna make propolis tincture. I made a propolis tincture last year, uh, last fall, after we cleaned our hives. But here's the thing, I used 100 proof vodka. And if you guys know, 100 proof vodka means that there is 50% alcohol and 50% water. And that was not very strong to actually create a tincture. What I have learned, and in herbal world, it's always like that, there's always something new to learn. Uh, I learned that actually using a stronger proof alcohol is better. So today I'm going to be using Everclear, which is 190 proof. Um, it means that it has 95% alcohol, and that's what I'm going to be using. So I have this large container of propolis that we have harvested from our bees. This one is super, super fresh and big, look at a big glob of it. It's very, very sticky actually, but the rest, we literally shavings we took off while, while cleaning uh, the beehives uh, because they no longer need it, okay? And we're gonna be giving clean supers in the, in the spring again. So I have a big container. I'm not gonna use all of it right now, um, but I'm gonna use a, quite a bit of it. So so I have a large jar and I'm going to, today I'm going to be using a scale like any other time. Today I'm going to be using a digital scale. So for this recipe I'm going to be using, um, let me zero my, my jar, my scale. I'm going to zero everything. Okay. And the proportion to use um, for this tincture is two parts of propolis and nine parts of alcohol. So that means I'm gonna be putting, oops. Let me switch this. I'm gonna be putting two ounces, two ounces of propolis. Should have brought a spoon with me here to my tree house, which I did not. All right, here it is. Two ounces of propolis and nine ounces of alcohol. And like I said again, I am using Everclear, which is a very, very strong alcohol. And I've learned that you need the strong alcohol for um, to actually work on the strong resin that comes from the propolis. going to take me a little while to fill up to so nine ounces oh perfect 
perfect. Wow, awesome. So it's a big container. If I want to add more, I can because it's it's a big container. Okay. Uh, and then this uh, uh, this this tincture with will, will be good for several years. For several years, it's. I mean, I've heard that people have held their tinctures for ten years. So I can actually. Um, I can actually make more since I have more space. So let me add two ounces, two ounces of propolis. The good thing about the uh, digital scale that you can zero out again and fill it up again to what you need because I can definitely make a double batch here. It would have been so much easier if I brought myself a spoon, but I forgot to bring the spoon from the house. Almost there, almost there. You can do this in grams if you prefer to use grams. I've learned that not everywhere you can buy this strong alcohol. I know that um, in the US, at least in my state, it's very easy. I just go to any liquor store and I buy the strong um, Everclear um, alcohol. It's, it's super easy for me to find. But I know that in Canada, you need a um, special permit to purchase that. At least that somebody told me that. I don't know how true that is. All right, so while I'm measuring this out, let me guys talk to you about what the tincture is good for, what propolis is being used for. Yep, right here, we got ourselves, we got ourselves two ounces. Let me, let me zero that again. And now I'm gonna add nine more ounces of alcohol. All right, so first of all, it's widely used to treat infections, vir vir viral infections, um, to treat um, sore throat. I don't wanna miss my nine ounces. I'm trying to watch the scale at the same time. Sore throats, colds, flu, um, I'm almost there. Almost there. Oop. A little bit too much. Not by much. Like literally tiny little bit. All right. So here is my tincture. It's already turning colors. So um, so this tincture is going to um, dissolve pretty much most of the um, most of this propolis. What may be remaining on the bottom at the end of my six weeks uh, may be a little bit of wax because um, propolis is often mixed with a little bit of wax that bees produce, which is not unusual. It's okay. It's not unusual. So um, wax will not break down. Wax will remain on the bottom, but all of the propolis will break down and will become part of this tincture. All right, so again, it's used to treat infections, viruses, uh, sore throat, fungus, cold, flu. Um, it's great for immune support. But I also read somewhere that, and I'm being kind of careful about it, so I don't even know if I should mention it here. But I do know that there's some literature about treating nose and throat cancers. Uh, it can be used topically, uh, propolis can be used topically uh, in, in creams, in lotions, uh, to treat acne, uh, um, um, canker sores, uh, it can be used to treat burns, that sort of thing, all right? And I'm going to keep this tincture in the cool, dark place in my pantry and shake it once a week, and I'm going to do this for the next six to eight weeks. Then at the end of that time, I'm going to strain everything using a cheesecloth, and I'm going to store it in a dark container with a dropper. 
those little containers you can purchase on Amazon and other bulk stores um, and I'm just gonna pour and I'm gonna use it as much as I need to um, when somebody has a cold flu uh, sore throat or just like immune support okay but propolis has been used in my family for a long time because my papa uh, has been a beekeeper his entire life so we always had propolis going in our house so hope friends I hope you stay encouraged I hope you look into getting some propolis if you cannot find propolis just find it there's always you can look into um, farmers markets so when there's a fresh honey being sold from beekeeper ask them if they can sell you some propolis as well so friends be encouraged and try something new